Recently, more than 5,000 FFA members from all over Georgia made the trip to Macon for the 86th Annual State Convention. It's an event designed not only to help the students have a good time, but also prepare them for the future. Damon Jones has that story. While thousands of teenagers under one roof might not seem like a great idea to most people, it was a reason to celebrate for the agricultural industry. As these future farmers and ranchers from all over Georgia came together for the 86th Annual State Convention. It's a unique event featuring a little bit of everything. We've got over 5,000 FFA members and uh, alumni and sponsors and advisors here kind of celebrate the end of a great year with the FFA. These students have been at it all year long competing on the local level, area level and state level and they come here kind of for the end of the year. We've got an award program, we've got motivational speakers, we've got a trade show, so a, lo a lot of things going on. The main goal of this convention is to celebrate and recognize all the hard work these students have put in during the school year. That and of course providing a little bit of fun. So you're always screaming and cheering for everyone and then you get to see the stars over Georgia and the people who've worked so hard for this and just the convention dance and meeting so many people. It's an unlimited, unlimited amount of fun and we, we are very, very excited. Most, mostly I hope they have a good time. You know, I want them to be here, enjoy what they're doing. If they have a good experience with FFA, they're going to go home, they're going to tell their friends about it, they're going to come back. The more times they're here, the more sponsors they meet, the more judges they meet, the more hands they shake, the more relationships they build, the better their future is potentially going to be. While there was plenty of food, fun, and fellowship, there was also a big focus on guiding these students into the future. And nothing represented that more than the career fair, which played host to a number of recruiters from different agricultural programs around the state. Well, I actually began my interest for UGA at um, our career show because they were talking to me about their different agriculture the, through their College of Ag, all the different courses you can take. And so the career show helped me really get to get involved with UGA and have people personally talk to me. Another unique event here was the Georgia Farm Bureau discussion meet where 12 FFA members won their spot on the panel through regional competitions. Important agricultural issues dealing with legislation, policy, and education were discussed in a session designed to build communication skills. Uh, it teaches uh, 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 young people to be able to communicate, to, to work together to uh, solve a solution. It's really a good uh, uh, communication tool builder for our young people. Uh, well, it will help them if they are in a boardroom uh, meeting, the cooperative attitude to get along with people to, to reach a conclusion on a, a topic or problem. So, as you can see, there was a little bit of everything here at the 86th Annual State Convention, and it's that type of diversity, lastly believes, truly represents the organization. Well, young people who are interested in FFA need to know that we have something for everybody. Um, if you're not from Production Ag, we have a place for you. Uh, environmental science, horticulture, landscape management, those are all part of agriculture, and as our nation and our world continue to evolve, we need people interested in those parts of agriculture. It's an idea these current members recognize as they continue to take pride in what the FFA stands for. The basis of our entire lives is based on agriculture and what farmers are doing for us and the legislators and everyone in, in the process in between to get the food from our farm to our plate. And to be part of such an organization that is helping change the world and feed the world, is, it's just an amazing and a humbling experience. Reporting from Macon, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.